Hi, I'm Rory from eSpares, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the motor on a Dyson DC05. Now, confusingly, your DC05 will have one of two motors. It will either have the YDK motor, like most Dysons, or it will have a Panasonic motor. Now, the most important thing here is that you must replace like for like, because if you try to replace one with the other, it just will not physically fit in your vacuum. Um, the only way to tell which motor you have is by actually physically opening the whole vacuum up, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But first, I'm going to take you through the main differences between the two motors, so you know which one you need to get when it comes to ordering. Now, this is the YDK motor. Um, it's labelled as such here, but if yours isn't labelled, um, you'll be able to tell because it's YDK, because it will have three steps on the top here. Uh, the Panasonic is also labelled, as you can see there. Again, if yours isn't labelled, you'll be able to tell it's a Panasonic by the circular plastic bit here at the top and the fact it only has two steps. Now, my DC05 has a Panasonic motor, so that's the one I'm going to be replacing today. But the process is exactly the same, no matter which motor you have. So uh, these, you'll be able to follow these instructions. Now, safety first. Always make sure your vacuum is switched off before you get to work. And what I'm going to do first is just remove the bin and all other external components, just so I can then start to get access to the inside of the machine. OK, now I've removed all the external parts from the vacuum. Uh, I need to separate the main body of the Dyson. Um, to do this, I'll need to remove five holding screws. One is situated down here, and there's two situated behind each wheel. So what I need to do is pull the wheel back and get my Torx head screwdriver and remove. Now I've taken all the screws out. I can separate the body. Now, the body comes in three main parts. This is the upper motor assembly. Um, the actuators sit on here. This is the motor assembly. Now I just need to uncouple these wires. And um, yeah, in the motor assembly, of course, the motor how is housed. And finally, this is the lower motor assembly in which the cable rewind sits. Now, I'm just going to take the wheels off of the lower motor assembly because when it comes to reassembling the body, it's a lot easier to do with the wheels off. So I'm just going to pop out these plugs and use a flathead screwdriver to remove the wheel and just do the same on the other side. OK, now I've separated the motor assembly from the rest of the vacuum, I can start to disassemble it. Now, I'm just going to first take off the motor bucket top and now remove the fan case seal. And what I can do now is just reconfirm that my replacement motor is the same as the original motor, which it is, so that's good. So now I'm just going to very, very carefully just remove the motor from the bucket because I don't want to uncouple these wires here. Because basically, these wires must be rewired on your new motor in exactly the same way as you find them. Um, if your wiring looks any different on your motor, don't pay any attention to what you can see in this video. Just make sure you rewire your own motor exactly the way you found it. Um, also, if, if you have different color wires, um, the blue and black are neutral, and red and brown are live. So um, what I'm going to do first, just to make sure I do rewire everything OK, is just take a photo so I know exactly which wires go where. And now I can just uncouple. OK, and now I can wire my new motor. OK, now I've rewired my new motor, I can put it back in the bucket. And um, the, it will only go one way. These two eyes here match up with two raised pieces in there. So I'm just going to fit that in. There you go. Now I can put my 
fan case seal back on and put the motor bucket top on like that. There you go. Okay, and that is my motor assembly reassembled. So now, what I, all I need to do is reassemble the entire vacuum. Okay, to reassemble the vacuum, you've got to do it in a certain order. First, you need your lower motor cover, and you need to put your cable rewind back into position. It only goes one way, it slots into a groove, so make sure that's all good. And now, we can take our motor cover and recouple these wires. Obviously, these are color coordinated, so that's all good. We can recouple those. Now, I can rest the motor assembly in the lower motor cover. It should just slot in like that. There we go. Now, the next bit is putting the upper motor cover on. And um, you can see now why we removed the wheels, because uh, they would have obviously got in the way a bit. Um, so basically, there's a trick to this. Um, you need to get this round part and you need to slot it onto this round part and there you go, it just sits in like that. So now we've got the three main parts of the body back together, we just need to re-screw the holding screws. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, now the main body is all back together, I'm just going to put back on the external parts. There you go, one motor changed on a Dyson DC05. All these spare parts are available at the eSpares website, as well as the Torx head screwdriver set I use for the job. Thanks for watching.